Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news flash with Golterra Resources, Fury Gold Mines, Trillium Gold, Adventus Mining, and Whistler Resources. Golterra Resource announced results from nine drill holes from their high grade crystal room gold deposit at the Yellowknife City Gold Project. Those nine holes with 1,062 meters tested the crystal room main shear structure at shallow depths over a strike length of 900 meters and also tested high grade secondary shears and fissures in the hanging wall and footwall of the main shear. Hole GTZ R2104 intersected over 9 grams gold per ton over 5 meters, including 23.7 grams gold over 1 meter within a mineralized shear zone containing quartz veins with visible gold. GTZ R2103 showed 9.6 grams gold over 4 meters, and in addition, hole GTC105 intersected almost 5.84 grams gold over 2 meters. It is becoming increasingly apparent that Crystalrum is likely an extension of the con shear zone from the previous producing con mine. Drilling conducted in 2020 at the Crystalrum deposit identified multiple vein systems from near surface to approximately 250 meters below surface. Based on these results, the Crystalrum de deposit could represent a significant open pit scenario in the future. In 2021, the YCG resource is expected to be expanded and drilling is expected to resume on the Campbell Shear priority target immediately south of the former producing Con mine. Both the Campbell Shear and Con Shear are exceptional due to the high-grade nature of the past producing gold deposits. We expect many good drill results from Goldterra in the near term. Fury Gold Mines provided an update on the ongoing 50,000 meter drill program at their Eau Claire project. The drill program is focused on the one kilometer down deep extension at Eau Claire of targets A, B, and C, as well as infill drilling in the inferred portions of the resource for resource conversion. To date, a total of 3,646 meters has been drilled in six holes, with results expected in the coming weeks. The 2021 exploration highlights are on Eau Claire, the expansion program of over 50,000 meters of drilling, which is well underway, and on Homestake Ridge in British Columbia, with approximately 20,000 meters planned for summer 2021 as conversion and exploration drilling. On Committee Bay in Nudawood, at least 10,000 meters is planned to expand the three bluffs, deposit, and test several new targets in the summer of 2021. On the Eleanor South joint venture in Quebec, a surface exploration campaign is planned to run, followed by drilling of 3,000 meters to 5,000 meters into undrilled targets in Q4 2021. Fury is well positioned for further growth and has a growing high-grade gold resource base in three projects with several million ounces of gold. Plans include 80,000 meters of drilling over the next 18 months with aggressive exploration along the trend of the Eau Claire deposit and a broader asset package to potentially support a long-term 150,000 to 200,000 ounce per year mining scenario in Quebec. Also, aggressive exploration is to be pursued at the Homestake Ridge project to expand the resource and convert approximately 15% of the Homestake Silver resource from the inferred to the indicated category. In Nudawood, a discovery focused drilling program is to be conducted within the 300 km Committee Bay Gold Belt to achieve a resource based target of more than 5 million ounces of Committee Bay. Fury is doing really well. Trillium Gold encountered visible gold in three or five drill holes and showed additional high-grade drill results of Newman Todd. Drilling intersected reward-type veins in the Newman Todd structure, and three of the five holes contained visible gold. Continued drilling intersected over 16 grams gold over 3.9 meters, 124.6 grams gold over 0.24 meters, and almost 50 grams gold over 0.3 meters and all contained visible gold, which is fantastic, of course. Drill testing of the high-grade gold intercepts continues with 25,000 to 35,000 meters of drilling planned at Reward, Newman Todd and Gold Center, which is expected to resume in mid-January. There are still four holes from 2020 in the assay lab, which will hopefully lead to more good news. Trillium gold shares are still lagging a little bit, but that should change very quickly. We expect in the next weeks, hopefully, very good news.
Adventus Mining and Salazar Resources announced further infill drill results from the Eldomo deposit. Infill drilling continues with two diamond drill rigs. 18 infill definition holes have been successfully completed, totaling almost 1,900 meters of the planned 4,960 meters. In addition, the partners are pleased to provide an update on exploration and development plans for 2021 at their three copper gold projects in Ecuador called Curipampa with Eldomo, PGD and Santiago. Highlights included CURI 346 over 12.4 meters at 3.37% copper, 4.8 grams gold, 2.9% zinc, over 57 grams of silver and 0.38% lead, giving 8.74% copper equivalent. That is fantastic. Another hole, CURI-348, intersected 2.72 meters with almost 1% copper, almost 9 grams gold per ton, 12% zinc, 673 grams of silver and 6.64% lead, giving a to almost 21% copper equivalent and other further good results. All results from the current infill definition drilling program will be used to update the mineral resource estimate for Eldomo in 2021. The updated mineral resource estimate will form part of the ongoing feasibility study for the Eldomo development. Adventus and Salazar are now in their fourth year of continuing their close and successful partnership. The partners are in strong financial position and expect development and exploration expenditures of approximately 20 million US dollars in 2021, highlighted by the completion of the Eldomo Copper Gold Feasibility Study, as well as exploration activities on the larger Curibamba project and the Pigili and Santiago projects. Adventus is going full throttle, has the funding to do so, and will likely be able to bring Eldomo into production along with Salazar. The stock is undervalued in our opinion. Vista Resources announced results from two new drill holes in the Tajitos Wien zone at the Panuco Silver Gold Project. Vista completed 14 holes at Tajitos in 2020 and has received results from six holes and drilling continues. One highlight was hole CS2006 with 910 gram silver equivalent per ton consisting of 536 gram silver and 4.35 grams gold per ton over 13 and a half meter in only 96 meter steps. Vista continues unperturbed on, its, on their path for production startup in 2022. My team, Andrew and myself, are or may be shareholders in the companies presented and they are or may become part of the SRC Mining Special Situations, situ, uh, <laughs> Special Situations Certificate. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.